Hi, in this video I'm going to have a look at the new features in King of Avalon version 6.3 that was just released. I was actually uh, just looking at Guns of Glory as well, they also had a new update and in that uh, game there was really nothing of interest that was uh, added or changed. In uh, King of Avalon argu arguably it's even worse. I mean I don't find anything particularly interesting that has been introduced. and uh, they did introduce uh, um, a bug. Uh, currently, uh, I have, uh, you know, can show you. I've been at the monster stage of the gold event. I have uh, now 26,000 points. Um, when I started playing, I hit, uh, I think, 13 or so monsters of level uh, 32 and higher. So there was uh, something wrong with the points that might have might be corrected. I don't know. I have reported it, but it's uh, it's annoying. I already find it quite annoying that they do these uh, updates always during the monster event. I mean, don't do these kind of updates during the monster event and not during the gathering event. That is annoying because people. Uh, I want to be, if you are actively playing, then you are constantly focused on this uh, event and then you don't want this interruption from a um, from an update, the, which also introduces new problems, but okay, can try to do it during troop training or during uh, upgrade event instead, or preferably not during an event at all, but maybe always in some kingdoms there are events active, I don't know. But uh, monster event seems to be one of the less uh, uh, nice events to, to do this. But okay. The new features. One thing that might be interesting but seems a Spanish only feature is that there are now recruitment items. And from what I understand, I haven't really looked at it yet. I haven't really seen it in packs, but from what I understand, uh, with these items you can train many uh, uh, many uh, units at the same time. So you temporarily get a much larger uh, training capacity, which actually it is very nice. But if if it costs you money, then I think probably no thanks. I'll just uh, do the clickety click. I mean, it's not going to make the training cheaper. You just have to do less clicks. So I will probably just do more clicks, don't want to pay for that. Okay, that is uh, one feature. Another feature, War 8 Center here in the right corner. It's, uh, it is announced as something that you will get free gifts daily and you can check out sales, probably just focused on the sales. So if you go to the daily deal, there is now a something you can claim, but yeah, I don't know what it was, maybe five, uh, five minute speed ups or something. And for the rest, it is just uh, yeah, showing you what you can uh, buy. So I'm not find that particularly interesting. It, uh, it to me seems like, uh, hey, we have a new feature which allows you to, uh, which the only thing it really does is allows you to spend money. Okay, well. For that's a new feature. Okay, the real new feature is a gold event kingdom raid, but um, that is something that is going to be tried out in certain kingdoms. So for many people that won't be really relevant at this stage either. I don't know. I haven't seen it in my event center yet. If it is going to, if you're going to be one of the uh, kingdoms where this is tried out, then you can, uh, yeah, you should be able to see it at in your event center at a certain moment in time. I'm not sure whether that is done at this moment. For the news center, they will say that they will now uh, they will now use it to release new events from time to time. I find it very anno annoying, to be honest. I mean, I would really like it if we can just uh, see all events in the event center. Lately, they have already started. Uh, yeah, showing certain events only in like you have to click below here to access an event and it's not possible to access it via the event center. Now the new center is going to be used to announce events. I'm not sure like yeah, how is that compared to uh, 
I mean, why don't they just all put it in events uh, in the event center? It's just uh, just annoying, in my eyes. No idea why that is. Um, there are adjusted rewards of the Merlin trials, but I'm yeah I'm not sure what that exactly means. Whether the uh, the one for doing the Merlin trials will actually is actually changed somewhere, or whether uh, the prices or items you can redeem are are changed. I haven't really noticed any differences uh, here. It all seems pretty much the same. I'm actually mostly focused on getting the intensity crystals these days, at least the higher level, so not paying too much attention to other things. But yeah, that is. Uh, I, I doubt this will be something that many people notice, or uh, yeah, uh, for whether it will be relevant for many people. Another thing that might be um, relevant for people, as especially for spenders, is that, that the acquired uh, equipment, gemstone, hero weapon, dragon emblem, prestige statue and artifact items will not activate related tomes anymore. So maybe it was the case when you got one, um, yeah, like one prestige statue uh, somehow that it meant that the other uh, for the other three slots that require the same prestige statue, you could uh, uh, craft them automatically because somehow you acquired the tome. I'm not so sure. I, I don't spend that much. haven't paid attention to it. But I can imagine this is really a drawback. But again, I would expect this to be a drawback for spenders only. And, and just like almost everything in this uh, event, be, except for the kingdom rate that is not yet active, it seems yeah, it is relevant for people that spend money, not for the, the general uh, players. So, yeah, if, if there was a way to skip this update, uh, I guess and, uh, most players could do it, but we are forced to use the update or forced with side effects of the updates being released, like the gold event not giving you points for the monsters that you killed. Which, which was only in a short interval, by the way. It, uh, it has been fixed now in a sense that if I kill monsters now, I do get the points. But uh, for the monsters that I killed, and yeah, for me, it I had used up my uh, stamina reduction talent, and I've used up uh, several uh, stamina items to kill those monsters in a short uh, time. So I only noticed it after I was finished. So for me, it's uh, yeah painful. Uh, if they don't correct it uh, anytime uh, soon, and anytime soon I mean long before this event, uh, this stage of the event is over. Anyway, enough complaining as you can understand, I'm not impressed with this new update uh, at all, but I still wanted to share this video about it. If you have any comments or questions about it, that is always much appreciated, and thanks for watching the video.